Hi friends, this is Dr. Sirisha. Welcome back to my channel Healthy Magic Foods. Please subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel Healthy Magic Foods. Today I am going to show you how to make Malai Kofta Chicken Curry with Jackfruit Seed Powder and Arrowroot Powder. I am going to use Jackfruit Seed Powder because it is rich in fiber and vitamins, minerals. It also rich in protein. It contains thiamine and riboflavin which are very good for hair, skin and eyes. So try to use jackfruit powder wherever it is feasible. That enhances the taste also. Arrowroot powder contains protein, potassium, iron and phosphorus. It is useful to control hypertension as it contains potassium. For chicken malai kofta curry, take boneless chicken, a little bone is there, it's okay, half a kg. Then you take 4 medium sized tomatoes, 2 medium sized onions, fenugreek leaves, mint leaves, coriander leaves, curry leaves and green chillies. You need ginger garlic paste, uh, red chilli powder, turmeric dhania powder and garam masala all this we are now what we do we marinate this with half, one spoon of pepper one and a half spoon of ginger garlic paste salt to taste i have used salt in making ginger garlic paste so i am adding less 1 spoon of half spoon of garlic. Mix it well and marinate it for at least 20 minutes. Then give, we go for making frying them after adding arrowroot powder. I am just adding spices to it and marinating. Take onions, cut them into big pieces because we are going to cook it. Cut tomatoes into four parts. So I cut two medium sized onions and four small uh, sized uh, tomatoes. Take green chillies into this. Add one spoon of coriander powder. Add 1 cup of water to this and boil it. Keep a lid and cook it till tomatoes and onions are cooked properly. Keep a pan and add oil for deep frying chicken pieces. Now add half lemon juice to the marinade. Add two spoons of ara root powder. One spoon of jackfruit seed powder. Already I told you it is very nutrient rich. Mix it. Now we crush it with a bezel. Do not crush it away. Don't use much of force. See that you can make balls out of this. So because it contains little bone also. Don't crush the bone. Crush gently with a bezel like this. Crush gently. To the bowl add 4 to 5 pieces of kaju and 
5 5 pieces of almonds add to the bowl and let it boil along with tomato and onion mix i have finished crushing so that i can make balls now we fry it see i make small balls like this and you can fry it when we are crushing gently all the spices got mixed if you want to make it round you can make otherwise you can fry them like this also as it is fry it till they are dark little brown color now here it is almost boiled switch it off once it is cool we blend it fry another batch i've taken out the one batch and i'm frying another batch fry it till it becomes a little brown like this then we take it out now this is cool down we have boiled tomatoes onions green chilies little uh, coriander powder almonds cashews all this we boil and we make a fine paste here it is almost fried now we can take it out i am taking it out one more batch we make a paste add 8 to 9 cloves of garlic and blend it it is almost done switch off the stove and take out all the chicken balls keep a pan for cooking add add butter to it approximately 75 to 100 grams then add shahi jeera it is blended to fine paste we add this paste to the butter i am wait i uh, add the paste to it and we have not fried the onions and the tomatoes we have boiled and cooked and ground now this paste has to be fried properly in the butter once it is fried we can add the chicken pieces along with other spices add 1 spoon of turmeric 1 spoon of red chilli powder because we have already added green chillies so we, we we don't require much of red chilli powder we have added dhania powder that is coriander powder now we are adding garam masala garam masala is a mix of um, cardamom cloves and cinnamon add two anise seeds add curry leaves chop fenugreek leaves
coriander chopped mint leaves add all the chopped leaves green leaves to the gravy now the gravy is boiling coriander leaves methi leaves that is fenugreek leaves and mint leaves add salt finally add lemon juice half lemon we have added half to the chicken pieces now i am adding half to the gravy this is almost done now we can add chicken pieces to it add chicken pieces to it now add fresh cream take out the upper layer of the boiled and cooled milk what take out the upper layer of the boiled and cooled milk take out the upper layer of the cooled milk if you keep it in the freeze refrigerator you get a thicker layer so take out that layer in a cup this is the cream upper layer of the boiled and cooled milk then add this cream fresh cream to the curry now you can switch it off this is done this is a malai chicken kofta curry this you can take with puris rotis chapatis rice fried rice or daliya any other item jowar roti any any item it tastes delicious bowl and show you chicken malai kofta curry you can make very easily with simple ingredients and it tastes very delicious cook and eat healthy be healthy thank you